at Disney classic dolls, including the brand new releases of Wendy and Alice, and Princess Tiana, who I have never unboxed before, as well as these brand new accessory packs, which include pretty adorable looking outfits for our classic Disney princesses. I have Tiana, Belle, and Aurora. Now, Alice and Wendy have already been available in the UK for a while, but were just recently released in the US. All of these items are only available at the Disney Store, and I ordered them online at the Disney Store's website. However, for collectors who do not like to take their items out of the box, if you will notice, both Tiana and Wendy's boxes are damaged in this upper corner. So if you're the type who does not like to take their doll out of the box and wants their box pristine, I would recommend actually going in person to the Disney store if you can find one near you and looking for these dolls in person to make sure you have an undamaged box because there's no guarantee it's gonna arrive that way from their website. The style of packaging, even though Alice and Wendy aren't actually princesses, is pretty much the same as what I've seen of every Disney princess doll before. On the back you can see at the top is the name of the character, and then we have a monochromatic image from each of the character's films. Now I'm pretty excited about these accessory packs. First of all, I think they're pretty cute. I love the idea of finally having additional outfits for your Disney Princess Classic dolls from the Disney store because I have tried on the Comfy Squad clothes made by Hasbro for the Hasbro line of Disney Princesses before and unfortunately they do not fit the classic Disney Princesses and I point that out in a previous video. As you can see the packaging falls in line with the dolls. Again we have a little bit of damage here for those who like to keep things in the box. You can see on the back the same style of a monochromatic image from each of the character's films. And on the side of the box is an illustrated outline of each character. Now let's get to the unboxing, which as usual will be on time-lapse. So let's start with the dolls, and as you can see, Wendy and Alice are a different body type than Tiana, our Disney princess. Wendy and Alice are supposed to be children, so they are a shorter body type with a different bust line. They have a more childlike body, which I think is great because that's a better depiction of the character. Let us start with our classic Disney princess, Tiana. First off, Tiana comes with this little clip-on brooch, which I think is really cute. In the past, the Disney Store Disney princesses and their classic rendition have come with different things. Uh, the previous ones I had unboxed came with rings. I like this little brooch better. Now the doll is a classic Tiana look. I love her hair. Just a little updo of curls with one little perfect curl in the front. Her little Art Deco flower inspired tiara, her dress, lots of glitter, and there's actually tissue paper in the dress. The dress still has some good shape even without the tissue paper. It's a little wrinkled in the back, but not super noticeable. I really love the fabric. It's multiple layers, so we've got kind of the base lining and then this sheer material on top with this beautiful glittery vine and floral detail. And then these kind of flower petals. Unfortunately, one is folded back, but this is a very stiff material, so maybe I could like tack that down somehow. I don't like this printed on her back. Like, I really don't like that. Especially on a doll with a low cut back line where you can see this, I think that's horrible. She is articulated with movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist. She's got 
hip articulation, which is hard to see when she's wearing this big dress. And then she has kind of the rubbery legs with the bend and snap knees. She has flat feet. I know a lot of adult doll collectors do not like dolls with flat feet. They'd rather have the high heeled foot. But I do, I don't mind it at all. And I do like these color coordinated, simple plastic slippers that she's wearing. She's got that little flower detail at her waist. And again, the petal detail in the neckline. Very pretty. Something I did really like in the packaging, which you may not have been able to see in the time lapse, was that her head was not tagged to the packaging. There was just a black twist tie keeping her head in place. I didn't have to cut any little plastic tags that were attached from her head to the cardboard of the box. So I really like that. I, I hate those plastic tags. Oddly, both Alice and Wendy did have those plastic tags attached to their back of the head. They also have very glittery dresses. So let's look at Wendy first. She also has this tissue paper situation. Again, without the tissue paper, I think her dress falls pretty nicely. I left this tag in just so you could see when you're unboxing these dolls, if you're unboxing them, just note that there's little plastic tags everywhere. You really gotta be careful you could rip the dress. And this type of material is not very forgiving with leaving holes from the plastic tags. It definitely wouldn't be forgiving if you ripped the plastic tag instead of cutting it. Also, a lot of glitter and the glitter sticks to their little rubbery legs. This is pretty cute in terms of her face mold. I love the Disney Store doll face molds. They're so accurate to their animated depictions. I really, really love it. Now her hair has a lot of hair product in it and normally this really bothers me, but not in her case because she is a character with these perfect little curls that I just think it's right to have this much product. I'm not gonna be washing this out. I wanted to have her perfect little curls. They're not fantastic coming out of the packaging, but pretty good for display purposes from the front. They look really good. She does have some glitter in her hair, which I'm gonna try to brush out without washing her hair. She's got a cute little blue bow. Again, her nightgown is covered in glitter and the glitter does somewhat shake off. It's not terrible. It's not like coming off all over my hands. And I love the little blue bow at her waist. It's just really sweet with the little puff sleeves and the little white trim around the neckline. And again, her body type is different than our Disney classic princesses where she has the childlike bust line and she is a shorter doll, but she's still articulated with movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and again, this kind of bend and snap knee. Her feet are slightly inclined, but again, she's wearing these cute little flat blue slippers. Her feet actually look a little smaller than Tiana's. But all in all, very happy with the look of this doll. And then finally, we have Alice. Um, again, perfect little face sculpt. She does have glitter all over her, but it seems to be really sticking to her face and it's all in her hair. I don't know if you can see, she's got glitter all in her hair. I didn't want to wash her hair, but I think I'm going to have to. I don't know why all this glitter is stuck to her hair. She's got her cute little black ribbon headband, which is tacked into her hair with little plastic tags. Her sweet little face. Same body type as our Wendy doll more childlike than our classic Disney princess. Her outfit is all one piece. The apron is attached to the dress. All these dresses Velcro in the back. I do like that it has the little white whip ribbon and that the layer of material of her, like the skirt of her apron does lift up. It was tacked down. And so here is an example of the hole that the plastic tags leave. This fabric is not forgiving like that. Also, there is a little stain on her apron. Fortunately, it's not super visible, but I can see it. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little stain and it's from the hair product in her curls because the curl was like sitting right on her apron like that in the packaging. 
so the hairspray stained the fabric. I'm gonna try to spot clean it. I don't really wanna wash the whole dress because it's just covered in glitter. I don't know how that fabric will react to being washed. But again, I love the details, the little puff sleeves, the little collar, it's just super cute. My favorite part might be her little shoes, her little black Mary Janes. You can see the glitter stuck to her legs, which is super annoying. Now, of course, these dolls don't come with doll stands, so I put them in doll stands that I already own. I will link to where I bought these doll stands below from Amazon. I will also link to the Disney Store website below where I purchased these dolls. But let's move on to the accessory packs. So here we have the accessory packs for Belle and Aurora, and these are really, really adorable. Clearly, they're not entirely film accurate, but still really cute. Really nice details for a fairly inexpensive playline option. We'll look at Belle's dress first. Again, it's this kind of same material as the costumes. I wish I knew what this material was called. If anybody knows, comment below. It's clearly the same material they used to make Alice's apron, but here we have the dull side flipped to the top and the shiny side is on the bottom. Got a little ribbon detail at the waist, printed on detail for kind of the jumper aspect of the top with a little printed on flower. I like the collar and the little, this cute scallop detail on the sleeves. We've got a book print around the hem of the skirt with printed on lace detail. This comes with this tiny little shawl, which is actually a different fabric. It's a kind of a softer fabric pretty blue plaid pattern. We've got some tiny blue ballet flats. This is super cute. It is a blue bow barrette to put in Belle's hair. And these are my favorite details. We have a beautifully detailed basket. I really love the painted and sculpted plastic detail of this basket. It is textured and then the texture is enhanced by a pretty good paint job. Like really nice. And then this her little book that she's reading. It's really nice painted detail. The book does not open, it is a solid piece of plastic, but I love the painted and sculpted plastic detail on it. Then we have Aurora, Sleeping Beauty's kind of peasant girl outfit. Her outfit is all printed on details except for the trim at the bottom, which is a different material than the fabric of the dress. I do like the little puff sleeves and the little collar, the printed on button detail. Now her shawl is not the same fabric as Belle's. It is the same kind of stiff fabric that the dress is made out of. And it was held down to the packaging with those plastic tags. And you can see the holes it left in the material. Also, it has a Velcro closure in the front with these little faux tie detail. And then she has the cute little matching kind of purple violet flats. And then she has her berry basket. Again, really like the sculpted plastic detail, the painting detail, and then it's full of berries, which is really cute. I almost forgot Aurora's outfit also comes with this little gold and floral headband. And then we have Tiana's accessory pack, which comes with this awesome flapper looking dress. Really like the printed on detail. The way it's printed on actually gives it some texture. And I like the gold kind of faux fringe trim. The gold strap details. She has little white ballet flats. This lovely looking faux fur stole. It's very, very soft. It's got a satiny material on the inside. You can see the little holes from the plastic tags on the lining, but it's not at all visible on the fur side, which is good. She also came with a microphone and a mic stand, and the microphone does tilt in the stand. She has this gold headband with a white feather. And then she comes with this little paperboard poster or menu advertising Tiana's restaurant. So here are some Disney classic princess dolls from the Disney store modeling the outfit. 
Now obviously I don't have an Aurora doll, so Snow White is modeling her outfit, and I actually gave my Belle doll to my niece. Uh, so Ariel is modeling Belle's outfit, and Tiana is modeling her outfit. And my favorite by far is the Tiana outfit. Now just to note that these dolls cannot stand on their own. I also wanted to point out that when I took off Tiana's shoes, the shoes are banded to the doll's feet when they come out of the packaging, and you might be able to see the legs, because they're kind of rubbery, have the band indents in them. They do become less noticeable over time. This is my Snow White doll. It's been unboxed for quite a while, and you don't really see the band marks anymore. Also, this dress almost completely covers that marking on Tiana's back which I totally forgot all the dolls have this marking. It's not just Tiana. It's just that all the other dolls that I have in the line, the outfit really covers it or their hair covers it. And I kind of forget it's there, but hers obviously was really noticeable because her hair is up and her regular dress has a very low back. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. You should be able to comment below, but as always, I will put a link to my website in the description and you can comment there. You can also check out the product links below in the description for the dolls, the nail polish, the doll stands I use in this video, and my Amazon storefront.